Well, good morning, world. I'm happy to be here, sitting here at uh, at IMC in Redwood City, and I appreciate those of you saying where you are. So Deb in Philadelphia, and James and Vita in Berkeley, and Eric, San Francisco, Elaine, Glendale, Barbara in Berkeley too, um, and Rohana in Nevada, and Eric in Cambridge, and William in Michigan, and Megan in Santa Cruz, and, and Jill in Canada, Edmonton, Gary in Seattle, and Catherine in San Francisco, nice to see you here, and LH in Iran, and it's very nice to see you again, hear your name, Jenny, Selinus, Victor, Netalan, and Nuala, and Joan, it goes on and on, I'm so happy, and Karen in Bra Bainbridge Island, Nancy, I think in Redwood City, Lori in New Hampshire, Victor. Well, thank you so much. And um, maybe someone could say if you're hearing this, that would be nice. Yeah, thank you for telling me the sound is clear. I, I've, I really appreciate just a little exchange with all of you and or some of you. It's very nice to feel there's a bit of back and forth going on here. Thank you. So, good morning, and uh, here we are, delighted to be with you, and, and good evening to those where it's evening, and good afternoon, and good night, and um, here we are. And I want to offer a couple of kind of images for this uh, meditation, and one is uh, goes along with the theme of these dharmets having to do with samadhi. Maybe I'll talk about it later. But the Buddha talked about um, that if the mind is too, has too much inertia, that it's just too complacent, too lackadaisical, that it's like holding a bird very loose in your hands and it flies away. Maybe the bird is injured and you're trying to take care of it. And then, uh, if um, if you hold the if your mind if you you hold the bird too t the bird too tight, like you would hold the mind too tight or grip it too hard or something, then you would injure or maybe even kill the bird. And the the idea is to hold the mind, hold yourself, with a kind of gentleness, and but also kind of gentleness, care, carefulness but also with a little bit of intentionality or a little bit of being enclosed so the bird doesn't fly away and get hurt. So um, so this kind of in-between, and I, uh, whether a little bit, you know, may funny, the image of a bird, but the, um, 
the idea of just holding the mind. Uh, so the steadiness, the focus, the one-pointedness, the engagement with practice isn't so much like in this, in this uh, Im- image, from top down, from the control tower down, but it's more like you come from underneath and you hold it, you hold it gently, but you hold it, you know, with some kind of, I don't know if firmness is the right word, but determination, like here I'm going to be. And, and for me, the image of the holding the bird is one of compassion and care and gentleness. And, um, and uh, so the holding, settling. And then the other image or idea is, uh, came from, a little bit from my early years of practice when I had a lot of physical pain in my practice. And it was very hard to get through a sitting because of all the pain. And I had two things that I would uh, kind of tell myself to get through it or be with it when it was really intense. Uh, Sometimes I would just say, moment by moment, just this moment, that's all. Just Just be present for this moment. And sometimes just being present for the moment, just as it is, uh, would get me through to the end of the sitting. But the other one that I did was I would tell myself, uh, say to myself, what if, what if this is forever? And that also would somehow, if it was forever, then this was it. And so for me, at least in my mind, that was a little bit enough to kind of have enough acceptance, enough, some kind of relaxation, just okay. I would give up my struggle, I would give up my future thinking, this is going to be forever, or my planning mind, and navigating, negotiating, debating, bargaining with the pain. Just okay there. So I hope that none of you will be sitting in pain, but you know, it's likely that a few of you will. Uh, And I hope that uh, you can hold yourself and hold your experience with a kind of focus and attention that uh, is like holding something caringly. Uh, Keep placing it in the palms of your awareness, your experience, your breathing. And perhaps this idea that um, it's gonna be like this forever. Maybe for some of you, that will just kind of let you, uh, kind of give away the idea of time, give away the idea of navigating and negotiating time and just kind of being in your experience now. Maybe this idea of forever helps you be in the kind of more in the timeless moment of now. So, if you could now take a meditation posture and and begin with your eyes closed maybe And is there some equivalent for you, some sense or feeling, image you have, that's the same or equivalent to just holding yourself, uh, holding your experience uh, in the palms of your awareness, the palms of your soft hands. That all of who you are will rest in this awareness, in this presence. And perhaps to take a few long, deep breaths, and as you exhale, to settle into the palms of your of awareness. Settle into this, as if you're here to settle in forever. Or here to settle in outside of time. And then letting your breathing return to normal. And if you go through your body a bit to relax some of the holdings and tensions in your body, as you release them and relax, maybe you can a little bit imagine that you're relaxing into the palms of awareness or the soft palm of the present moment that will hold you caringly. And 
then bring your attention to that part of your body where you experience your breathing or the place, the, the way of being, which is the home for your awareness as you meditate. And perhaps you can have a sense of your awareness or your breathing supported or held by awareness, by attention. That you're not in the control tower staring down at the breathing. but like a loving caregiver who holds your hand or the caring palms of the hand cup together to receive something tenderly, but with some firmness, allow the breathing, experience a breathing to soften and relax, ease up into the palms of awareness. And if anything occurs that takes you away from your breathing, you might say to yourself, or say to it, this too, this too you will hold in awareness. This too you will allow to be held or to be included in the palms of your hand, palms of awareness perhaps making those palms of awareness larger and larger so it can hold all things and especially the breathing at the center of it.
the direction that meditation goes is towards a harmony with all things. The ending of conflict with anything and all, everything. But to sit here with whatever arises in the present moment and hold it in awareness so there's no conflict. Everything rests in the palm of awareness. Everything can be included. This too. This too can be included in the rhythm of breathing in and breathing out.
And then as we come to the end of this sitting, I'd like to evoke again this thought experiment. What if this is forever? And in particular, one area where I really like this question is if the this of what if this is forever refers to our care, our love, our compassion. What if our care for ourselves, our care for others, our care for the world is forever? What if our compassion and love is forever. So may it be that forever that we bring forth our care, our kindness, our appreciation of other people and of ourselves so that we can be carriers of harmony, of goodness, of support, of safety to all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe.